Well, quite a different picture out there right now, opposed to this time yesterday, where we saw over an inch of rain in some locations. No rain today, lots of sunshine. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Looking at our weather headlines today and tomorrow, we will be in a tranquil zone as high pressure takes control. Nice, calm, quiet, but remaining cold. We do see a light snow event enter the area for Saturday into Sunday, and I'll touch upon that in just a few moments. No snowmageddon, however, for Sunday. It's been all over social media, and I've tried to attack the problem for several days now. There will be no major blizzard on the northeast come this weekend. That was all media hype, so you don't have to worry about that. At best, a few snow showers possible. Looking long term, it doesn't look like we see a break in this active and cold pattern anytime soon. We're not talking January cold here, but we will be unseasonably chilly in the 30s instead of the low to mid 40s where we should be. Your forecast today, 32 to 34, a mix of sun and clouds, but bundle up with a breeze from the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. We will see wind chills in the mid to upper 20s. You're going to need a heavy jacket out there. I know the picture didn't change much, but it was uh, basically a carbon copy tomorrow, 34 to 36, perhaps a couple degrees warmer than today. Calm cold and quiet yet again, feeling slightly warmer as we have a lighter breeze from the west at 5 to 10 tomorrow. All right, it's not often that we head out to the west coast. Right now, here's the radar picture out of Sacramento, California. Here is our storm system that will be developing for the weekend. As a general rule of thumb, any storm that comes in through Sacramento goes through the progression through the southeastern United States and out over the coast of Norfolk, Virginia, and that looks like it will be the case. Our low redevelops off of the Carolina coast and tries to head up northeast. Where it goes determines what we see in terms of snow, sleet, rain, freezing rain, or accumulating snow for some of us. Potentially, there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered, and we will continue to watch it. We basically have two scenarios. One is a further out to sea solution. But number two is combining the northern branch of the jet stream with the southern branch and both storms phase together right off of the coast in the, the Gulf of Maine, which would bring significant snows for parts of the New England states. Not for us. I'm still sticking with my idea of just a few snow showers, maybe some light accumulations, but we have one system that comes through for later Saturday evening that will skirt by through the north and then our coastal low. How these two interact with each other, again, will determine what exactly we see right here in our backyards. Definitely keep an eye on it. Your South Jersey five day forecast after we get our snow event. I'll put that in quotation marks for right now out of here for Sunday. It's tranquil again for Monday and Tuesday, but I am watching the potential for yet another storm for midweek next week. This activity is not going anywhere anytime soon. And you know, historically, we do usually see a storm around President's Day. Gives you something to think about. Thanks for logging on the Village Weather Online. I'm Nor'easter Nick. Have a great day, everyone. Everywhere you go, always stay.